Hello and welcome. My name is Audrey and today on my channel I am going to be showing you another DIY. This one specifically is to turn simple things found at the thrift into beautiful artwork like this. Believe it or not, yesterday this was an apron that I found at the thrift store for six dollars and then with another eight or ten in supplies from the local craft store and my trusty staple gun, I was able to turn this into the artwork you see today. So stick around and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So here is the apron. You can see really cool logo. NYC 1991 actually printed in Nashville. And this is what I am turning into a piece of hanging art. For context, I'm gifting this to one of my best friends, Taylor, for Christmas this year. So my bestie Taylor, even though she loves Memphis, she does not love cooking. And I don't blame her, I also don't love cooking. But this is obviously on an apron. And even though the, the design is super cool, she's from Memphis, like I know she would love it, she's never gonna put this apron on. So instead, I'm going to wrap this around a canvas to gift to her for Christmas so she can hang it up. Now that the fabric is prepped, it's time to head over to the craft store. I got these wooden strips as well as these little wooden wedges or keys to create my very own frame. So you can see I was laying them out literally on the floor of the store just to make sure I was getting a size big enough that the logo uh, slash emblem wouldn't wrap around the side. So this is me doing that uh, and blocking everyone's way. And I got a little nervous because I just wanted to make sure that this was gonna work. Uh, I've actually never made framed art like this before. So I went with 18 inches wide and 22 inches long um, for the perfect frame size for this piece. I couldn't decide between 18 inches wide and 20 inches wide. I was getting nervous that 18 inches like wasn't gonna be enough but the 18 like i ended up just getting a set of both just in case 18 is like technically um long enough to cover oh yeah i think 18 will be fine i don't know i was getting nervous in the store and i couldn't decide so i panicked now all that's left for these wooden strips is to put them together to create the frame. So I'm using a rubber mallet, as you can see, just to tap each piece into the other. These come as a tongue and groove type orientation. So you can uh, get them, place them together, and then tap them in. Pretty simple, and I'm actually really pumped at how this came out. And it's also really thin, which I'm excited about, so it won't be super bulky when hanging up on the wall. All right. So now we're out in the garage and it's time to start the process of getting this apron onto this frame. So let's do it. Today I'm going to be using our Craftsman air compressor um, with the heavy duty staple attachment. I do think you can use a regular hand stapler. Um, it's hard on the hands. It takes a lot of effort. Um, I have this already, so this is what I'm going to be using. It will be wrapping the fabric around and then stapling to the frame. Once uh, once we staple on one side, I'll probably start like one in the middle and then maybe work my way out. Um, and then I'll do the opposite side, try to make sure it's as straight as possible, stretch it, staple it, and then do the same thing um, on the opposite sides. And then I always like to test it out before I do it on my actual intended DIY. Be a little loud, but let's do it. Perfect. Now for the real deal. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So, so I think I might just say, not F it, let's do it, but you gotta start somewhere, right? 
So I'm just bringing it to the edge. Oh, grab it. I'm bringing it to the edge so my staple gun has plenty of room. The stapling got easier as I went and I became more confident. I was really nervous that it was really gonna stretch the fabric weird. It was gonna get wonky or wavy, but as long as you go side to side and stretch as you go, this really starts to come together very quickly. So far, so good. And I am just pulling and tugging until the fabric goes taut like I want it. And then stapling. But so far, I mean, that is looking so good. It's a little wonky. I mean, the design is so like just modular and blocky that I think it's supposed to be that way. And the rendezvous is straight, but I think I'm okay. Um, and honestly, I don't want to take all these staples out, so that's how it's going to be. How freaking good does that look? I know I am biased, but this came out so well and it was so easy. I know Taylor's going to love it and hang it in her home for years to come and you can too. You just need some fabric from the thrift, some staples and a craft store frame and you have your very own artwork. Thank you so much for watching.